Hi, good morning and welcome back. Thank you for coming back if you are following me for, you know, the whole time that I've been on here or if you are new to this channel, thanks for joining and thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate that. So today what I wanted to talk about was this would be the end, well, the beginning of week three for me, but the end, I guess, or announcement of week number two in my under construction journey to getting back to a healthy weight. I gained some and it wasn't a tremendous amount, but it's enough for me to say, listen, get with it. You still have goals. You still have things you want to do. So I had to give myself that talk. And so I did, and I made a plan and this is what I did this week. So last week I came on here and I was like, what the heck? I gained two pounds. What in the world happened here? How did that happen? Well, I guess the plan that I had in action was not good enough and it did not work. So I formulated a new plan. And what did I do that was different? So what I did was I followed a new plan. I did some research. I said to myself, okay, what are the goals that I want? What do I need to help me succeed this week? And so the plan that I found was through a book that I read and I will fill everybody in on that book later on in this journey. I just don't feel like I want to give any announcements on what I'm doing yet because I feel like people going out and spending money right away or doing something right away. If, if I'm saying like, oh, this is awesome and then it doesn't work for whoever, I just don't want it to be a thing. So first I'm going to try this out, see how the plan works for me, and then we'll go from there. I'll just link the book and whoever wants to get it can get it. So anyway, this is what I did. So I followed the plan. It was realistic enough for me that I thought, okay, I can do this. It seems maybe a little smidge hard, but why not try it, right? I needed to lose this weight. So the plan had easy foods where it wasn't like I had to go buy a whole ton of things that I wouldn't normally have already. And I think where the biggest change for me was, was where I was able to set out a food schedule for myself, like what time I'm going to have whatever it was I'm having, which if it was a snack or if it was an actual meal, I had it all planned out. That way I knew what to expect next and what I was going to be having. And I think that made the biggest difference for me because it just kept me knowing what to expect and staying on track. I also, um, with that food schedule, I made sure that I stayed within, like if I was gonna have, let's say a smoothie, I kept it to the same smoothie for let's say breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And what I mean by that, I said like every time I had that smoothie for breakfast, I had it again the next day for breakfast and I had a different one for lunch and then had the same one for lunch the next day. So I kept the same things that I was eating or drinking the same, just uniform. That way I didn't have to keep switching it up and figuring it out. So that was a big, big deal for me too. Um, if I wanted to switch up the order of how I drank or ate my meals, like if instead of having a meal in the evening, I wanted it in the afternoon, I would do that and then switch what I was gonna have in the afternoon to the evening, so that's fine. And so switching things up is okay, but just keeping the, for me, keeping the same meal type consistent for, let's say five days in a row was I think key for me. So, so yesterday, let me see, Saturday, Sunday, and today, I would have the same breakfast every day for the next five days. So until Wednesday, so until Wednesday, I'll be having, you know, Saturday to Wednesday, same breakfast, same lunch, same dinner, dinner, same snacks. That way it just keeps me knowing what's going on, not switching things up too much. And I think for me, that was such a big deal. So if you're having trouble staying on track with meals, and you're not the kind of person that gets that can't eat the same thing repetitively. Like if you are, like you can eat that and it's not a big deal for you or drink it and it's not a big deal for you, go for it. Like I think that really helped me. So I don't mind eating leftovers. I'm not a person who minds 
um, eating the same thing all the time. So that was a big deal for me. And I really like that. Another thing that I changed last week was that I made my steps a minimum of 10,000 steps. And I think I always had it that way, but I never really watched my steps on my Apple Watch. So I made sure that last week I stayed on 10,000 steps a day for sure without fail. And that also, I think, helped keep me motivated and moving. Since we're all at home now, or I think, I mean, if you're an essential worker, you're not gonna be at home. But if you are if you still are working, or unfortunately, you're not working now because of what, what's gone on in the world, we're sitting a lot at home. I'm sitting a lot at home. And so I don't go to an office right now. I don't leave my house that much anymore. So I've been sitting, and so, that requires me to do something about it. And so last week, I did 10,000 steps a day, every single day. And the way I did it is I would wake up, take the dog for a walk, come back with the dog, then go for another short walk. Then by lunchtime, after I had my meal, I would go for another walk, make sure I had at least like another 3,000 steps. And after work for like, um, after dinner, I would, do another bunch of steps and just make sure that by the end of the day before I went to bed I had all the steps I needed logged on and make sure that I walked my 10,000 steps now this week I have a little switch up I'm supposed to add some strength training and they're simple exercises nothing crazy nothing that I have to have at home like equipment it's just me myself doing some exercises in addition to those 10,000 steps. So what was the weight change? This is what made me so happy. So let me just calculate real quick. I, you know, want to make sure that I'm accurate. So last week I said I had gained two pounds and I was 177 pounds. This week I weighed in and I am 173.5 pounds. No, sorry. Yes, 173.5 pounds. So that gave me a three and a half pound loss in one week. And I am very happy with that because for one, the scale went down. And for two, I feel like it's actual weight, not like a water weight loss, which is very good because Whatever is not water weight usually doesn't, if it's not water weight, it doesn't come back on super fast unless I start eating like cake and crazy things. So since I'm not doing that, I'm thinking it's going to be okay. Was it hard? I'm going to say that the first, I think, two days I had headaches. And I think that's just a matter of having switched up what I was doing. And so that was kind of hard. Another thing that was a little hard was like my family on the weekends now because we don't really go anywhere anymore. The weekends we go pick up food and bring it home. And that's like something I was looking forward to all the time now because it's just a different thing to do. And they went to McDonald's. I did not have McDonald's. <laughs> and then they ordered subs another day and I did not have a sub. So that was kind of hard for me because it's part of just like being part of my family, doing things together and enjoying food, which is amazing, food is awesome. So that was really hard. But other than that, I think I stuck to my plan. I made sure what, what it, when they were eating, I was eating my own thing and that it was ready and just good to go. So I also meal prepped a little just to make sure I had like, once I got to the point where I wasn't having smoothies um, for just meals, and incorporating a meal, I was making sure that I had like two or three days of that meal just ready to go so that I could eat it and not feel like I'm not participating with my family. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope I didn't ramble on too much and I ho and if you have questions, for sure reach out. If you want the name of that book, let me know. I'll just give it to you. I just don't like to endorse things that I'm not fully done with and have a review of how I actually feel about what I'm doing so I don't like to just talk about things you know it's not like I'm being paid for this anyway or anything like that I just don't want to 
tell people something and then not be following it myself fully. So I want to do it fully and then give the announcement of what I read, what I've done, all that, those kinds of things. But if you do want the name, I'll give it to you. Just message me here in the comments and I will give it to you. Not a big deal. Um, and again, I just, you know, I want you all to know, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've always been having a plan, always trying to come up with new ways to stay on track. And that's what I think is probably one of my best qualities that I never give up. And so I'm always in search of the thing that is going to work for me. And we all, you have to also search for the thing that's going to work for you because whatever works for me might not work for you or it might. But at least there's people around that can give ideas on what is out there for you to try or for me to try if I see somebody else and what they're doing. So don't give up on your journey. Don't give up. If you've gained a bunch of weight back, if you're just feeling down about that, get back up. Know that you can change. Look what happened to me last week. I had a plan. I went up two pounds. I'm like, what in heck? I mean, why? So this is not the end. You can still get there. You can get yourself motivated. Just try something new that you haven't done before. And maybe that is the thing that is going to get you back on track and to meet your goals. So stay with me. Don't give up on me. Give me your encouraging words. I will reach back to you and give you my encouraging words and we will help each other get to where we want to be. Okay? So again, thanks for watching if you're new. Thank you for watching and be part of my group because I love that. Um, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the channel so you get my notification. Oh, oh there's a bell. You got to ring that bell. You got to click on it and make sure that you click on the bell as well as subscribe. That way you get notified that there is a new video and I'm here babbling about something else. So <laughs> thanks again. Appreciate it. Bye. Have a great week.